Do your thing. Dad. What is any problem? Dad, I can't take this anymore. I can't take it anymore. Okay. How can a girl that I want to marry be, be treated like an outsider? Then the girl that I don't even like at all will be living under my roof. How is it possible? That's why I went to their house and I brought her here so that she can live with us. Okay. <laughs> Mm. You know, actually, I haven't really been forward on this case. I've been trying to be careful. So I haven't really said, okay, this is the person you should marry and all that, you know. And uh, talking about who is living here or not, I mean, who is living here is not a problem. It's just that we have not decided who you will marry or not. Then she have to leave this house. Okay, you want her to leave? Yeah, she have to leave this house. Well, there's something I'm thinking concerning this. Well, your mother, my wife, I know she's thinking something else. So because of that, I would advise that we follow this with wisdom. It, I even prefer that, you sh that she stays here, and the house is enough for us. She stays here so that we will you know, iron things out and um, get to a conclusion, you know. So, um, you care for this? That I don't want. I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like your this thing, your decision in this matter. One word. Get up. Honey. Honey. Yes. I don't see your phone. What is the problem? Mom. I don't like the way you people are treating Margaret in this house. I don't like it. But yeah, I love her and I want to marry. I don't like how you people treat her as an outsider. Then instead, you then instead Vivian is living in this house under my roof, which I don't even like her. I don't love her at all. Hmm. You don't love her at all. You want to marry this one? Yeah. And it's like Vivian! What is she? Yes, call her. Please. In fact, yes, everyone please, should mom. sit. Everyone should sit. Let's talk about this. Yes. And uh, it's high time we talked about this. I need to get this off my chest. Hey, don't come closer. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't see the reason why anyone would refuse to take a bite, you know, from this. She rejected it. Anyway, coming to this issue. So Chitoke says that there is no way his girlfriend, the person he wants to marry, will be treated like an outsider. She will be coming here as a visitor. She'll be coming here, you know, thinking about what we're going to say whenever we see her. Why the one he does not want to marry is living here. And you know that I haven't really been so forward with this whole thing. I'm trying to, first of all, give Shijoke the benefit of doubt. I believe that it is his life. In as much as we are here to guide him to make better decisions, all right? But um, I believe that he has a lot of say in his life, more than we do. Um, at the time, I was tempted to go with her, but looking at how the future might be, that's why I'm, you know, kind of taking it easy. So honey, what can you say about this situation? What? 
No, no, no. This can't be possible. No. Is it that if you decide to say I should marry Vivian, we should know it will not happen? I can't marry her. Hmm. Honey, it is like it is like I don't have to wear a Good thing I have a This girl is very tough. <laughs> and my son cannot marry her. Do you want to die? Do you want to die on family text? Eh? You cannot okay. marry her. Look, if being too big, being too tall is the problem. Then for my examination, I will let I will, I will tell you for free that there is no problem. There's no actual problem. I and have to be honest no with you. No, there is no problem. There I'm is telling no you. No, no, no. There is none. All right. Come on, mother. Hey, don't call me that. I'm not your mother. If love is in marriage, there is no matter if I'm tall. Or short. You have been living with your husband for many years. You didn't have any issue with him. So how can I have issue with my husband? Hey, Did you hear that? Don't you even dare. What about if they love have a leg? There will be no K leg. But there will be no K leg. I know what I'm saying. I'm a mother. I know what I'm saying. This is too tough. Don't take a look at you, Dophie. Did, did you hear what she said? I don't care. She said, if there anything. is love in a marriage, that there is no matter at all. That's what she said. And I don't care. We've been living for years. Have we had any problem? Because there is love. That's the thing. Look, for me, I have to be honest with you. We allow she can make his choice. Anybody he chooses, he chooses. For me, I'm in support. Sir, I should leave him to make his choice. Let him make his choice. You are not going to live with the wife, with him. Whatever problem they are going to, they are going to have. You are not going to have that problem with them. All right. And so you listen to we me. have a little. We can only guide. I and know. with what I've seen, I don't think there is any problem. Honestly, I can't see any problem yeah. at all. And you listen to me. If anything happens. So, eh? I will let it happen. Let it happen. And I know no it's not going to happen. No problem. It's not going to happen. You already made the decision. No yes. Problem. Yes. Okay. So, she's okay. Let's 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 come to a conclusion because I don't want us to going around the bush over the same matter. She's okay. Who do you want to marry amongst the two of them? I choose Margaret. And that's it for me. I'm 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 done with this. Mother. Vivian, you know, I've tried my best. No!